you very much. Digital transformation is not enough. And we're basically talking about digital disruption. Many of us think that, well, it's our analog business that will be transformed into a new world. But very often what we see is that business models really break together, that new markets come up. Have a look at this, please. This is quite obvious. What is happening here? We have an autonomous car. You know, you see somebody's missing here. It's the driver. Actually, I took this example because this is not happening in the Silicon Valley. It's Zittin in Switzerland. And please have a look. It's the Swiss Post, Post Auto. So we're not talking about something that is happening far away. We're talking about something that is happening everywhere. The interesting thing is, what is the principle behind it? What do you do when you are driving your car? What do you do? You basically were trained, this is what you learned in school, in driving school, to follow rule sets. And you have rule sets for basically every situation. You know exactly a mother is coming with a small child, break. You know exactly, please stay in the line. You know exactly what to do if uh, the traffic light is red and when it turns to green. So it's basically following rules. And this is something where algorithms right now start to become better than human beings. Second one, it's a fortune telling 3-0. Why do I call this fortune telling 3-0? You know what the old fortune teller did? The old fortune teller looked at you and said, hello. Yeah, I'm the fortune teller, you know, the female fortune teller. I said, you look bad today. <laughs> you feel sorry about something? Of course you feel, otherwise you would not come to a fortune teller, right? I mean, it's pure simple logic. And then I, as a fortune teller, would ask you some questions. You're a manager, right? Hmm. That means you're away from home very often? Yes. Your family doesn't like it? <laughs> no. He's giving me the answers. And in the end, I will ask you, so you're here that I'm going to tell you how to save your marriage? And you're like, how do you know? Yes, you just told me. <laughs> this is exactly what has happening in, in Fortune Telling 3.0, ladies and gentlemen. You know, one of the stations where I learned was at the Hamburg Ripperbahn. Maybe your German colleagues might explain you the special business model. Uh, <laughs> and let, let's say it like this. It's a special part of the human service industry there. So... Being a criminal inspector there, your competency basically is not to try to tell you what happened in the past, but trying to tell you where are risk areas tonight. But today what is happening is that what made the unique experience of a police officer, this is going to be solved by software. Crime prediction software is one of the fastest growing markets in the security industry. What does it mean for you? It basically means that you have to rethink business, but of course you say, well, but we have a business. It works. Come on, we're not a startup anymore. On the one hand, you have to say, well, we're following the old way. That means if you have an old cow, you know, it gives milk until the last drop comes out. And even then, process optimization even gives out more milk. You know, you all know every trick, you know. Monday through Thursday, you think business optimization, keeping the old business alive. And then on Friday, you think, okay, how would I destroy the business that I just uh, built up from Monday to Thursday? It's important that you have to act despite uncertainty. And this is very important because we're not used to it. We have to try and something that we have to learn is learning to fail. I think most of you will not go into the company at Monday morning and say, you know what, today, a million dollar loss, chaka. That would be cool, you know. Our stakeholders would love me for that one, you know. No, of course not. But the problem is that we always see failure as something bad. I think most of you have children. How did your children learn to walk? With a process? I mean, did you design a process for them? The learning to walk process design by Siemens certificated? Yeah? Supported by McKinsey? Nah, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about innovation. We're talking about disruption. I told you that you might fail. So please, at least have fun with it. Thanks very much and do it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Dr. Meyer.